So impeachment, right? What's the strength of the legal argument that's in that article of impeachment? The case is airtight. This is a president literally encouraging people to storm a coordinate branch of government, you know, a branch that is supposed to be equal to him in power. And to do so for the purpose of thwarting a free and fair election, and in other words, ending the constitutional order that he was sworn to protect. It is the ultimate impeachable yeah. offense. So Trump comes out in public yesterday and says, of course, I did nothing wrong and the call was perfect and people are saying and all that shit. He wants to make it all about the speech on the ellipse on that day. Now, the speech is like the cherry on the top of the Sunday. Right. Yes. And that's absolutely right. Here you've got a course of conduct where he's pushing, pushing, pushing for months. He's saying that the evil socialists are stealing the election. He's saying that you need to take back your country. He says in a tweet in December that be there on January 6th. It's going to be wild, wild. What does he mean wild? It's inevitable. And you heard Gabe Sterling, the election supervisor in Georgia. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get shot. Someone's going to get killed. And he goes and does it anyway. He doesn't day care. He never day. cared. He likes it. He wants people to be threatening on his behalf. Those are people fighting for him. They're climbing the ramparts. They're breaking windows for him. He I, loves that. So I think that's why the House prosecution case is really simple. It's right. literally just, here's what happened on Wednesday. Watch the video here's what tape. you said right. before. Watch what Gabe Sterling said. Open and shut. You know, we've been waiting for four years for the moment when the break would come. McConnell's thing last night is obviously a big fucking deal. There's a lot of speculation about how many Republicans might now follow McConnell. What do you think it is about this that there's some degree of Republican defection on display? I think there is an aspect of it that is the, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. And it was the severity of the event, the fact that people were physically in danger, and, and the accumulation of everything. He's of no use to them anymore. Whoa. Mitch has got to be pissed about the loss of those two Georgia races. Oh my God, yeah. Oh, those were winnable races, and Trump basically all but sabotaged yeah. them. McConnell cares about one thing, which is I want to be a majority leader again two years from now. What's the way to get there? He's now made apparently a judgment, which is that the king is now off his horse. Let's behead the king, see if we can purge Trump from the party. You don't think it's because of his love for the Senate and love for the Capitol and love for the Constitution? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> so Trump, running in 2024 creates all kinds of problems for the Republican that. Party. And so the argument, I think, for, for banning him would be, it you're, makes you're him a less maligned force. You're taking poison out of the system. Right. That might be Mitch McConnell's motivation yeah. in leaking what he leaked last night yeah. about his willingness to consider impeachment. But I think this can't be allowed to stand. Something has to be done. And if it can be done sooner rather than later, at a minimum, the fact that an impeachment trial is hanging over his head might deter him from doing some of the things he might otherwise do.